especially in the state of Iowa, where you have such a defining and decisive role to play for the rest of the country. And in all of my 18 years, I'm sorry, in all of my 18 days on this campaign, <laughs> I have learned that you take this stuff very seriously. Um, incredibly thoughtful questions, wanting to hold those who wish to hold positions of public trust accountable for their actions, um, for what they say. The president that we have seeks to divide us, seeks to play upon these differences, exacerbate the divisions that already exist in this country. Every single one of us, every child, every man, every woman, must be able to see a future for themselves in this country, where this country will have no future as a democracy. There are more than one million dreamers in the United States of America, most of whom came to this country at a very tender age. English may be the only language they speak, and yet those one million of our fellow Americans who are just as American in any way that matters to me as anyone else in this room, they're not just the students in the classroom, which is the way that a lot of us like to think about dreamers, they're very often the teachers in the classroom. They're not just benefiting from those who have their lives on the line tonight in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in Syria, in Somalia, in Yemen, in Libya, in a world halfway across the world. They are those who are serving right now, bearing the battle for the rest of us. So what if we decided that instead of deporting them back to a country they do not know, whose language they do not speak, but they may not have any relatives, and if against those long odds, they are successful and they will be successful for that place. We free them forever of any fear of deportation by making them U.S. citizens right here in this country. Yeah. 